Good evening, and welcome to Grace Episcopal Church here in Alexandria, Virginia. I am Father Michael Guy, the interim rector here, and we welcome you to praying evening prayer with us. We'll find this on page 111 as we do right to in the Book of Common Prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins unto God Almighty. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The false Hilaron. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 119, beginning at verse 73. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I trust in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort, as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame, for they wronged me with lies, but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. My soul is long for your salvation. I have put my hope in your word. My eyes have failed from watching for your promise, and I say, when will you comfort me? I have become like a leather flask in the smoke, but I have not forgotten your statutes. How much longer must I wait? When will you give judgment against those who persecute me? The proud have dug pets, pits for me. They do not keep your law. All your commandments are true. Help me for they persecute me with lies. They had almost made an end to me on earth, but I have not forsaken your commandments. In your loving kindness, revive me, that I may keep the decrees of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness remains from one generation to another. You establish the earth 
and it abides. By your decree, these continue to this day, for all things are your servants. If my delight had not been in your law, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your commandments, because by them you give me life. I am yours. Oh, that you would save me, for I study your commandments. Though the wicked lie in wait for me to destroy me, I will apply my mind to your decrees. I see all the things come to an end, but your commandments has no bounds. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel this evening is the gospel of St. Matthew, the 27th chapter. From the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sambachtini. That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, this man is calling for Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge filled with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the earth shook, and the rocks were split. The tombs were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised, and coming out of the tombs, after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they filled with awe and said, truly, this was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Canticle of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. 
I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffragist A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. A colic against the perils. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A colic for protection. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that has passed and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A colic of mission. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore. Let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. And men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer of thanksgiving. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.